au vent, sous les Loirs. On the campsite, camping grounds. The camping grounds with some name like Dugni? D U G N Y. Dugni? Dugni. <laughs> it's pretty nice. It's right near the Loire. Uh, yeah, we were lucky. And it's, uh, it's a bungalow, this big, fairly mm -hmm. big bungalow. Our new digs. Actually, there is a little lake back there. It's like being a teenager again, or a 20 year old again, staying in the camper van. Back in the kitchen, baby switch, refrigerator, all the stuff, barbecue, tables. Husband. Husband. Dad. Weapon room. I should say our modest bedroom. <laughs> and there's our little toilet. This is our porch. Yeah. That's the view with some water back there. This is our third night. Because um, we came here to videotape like castles and stuff and to visit our friends. Right. Which we did. They live on the other side of Le Loire. Right. They live in Chaumont. In the Chaumont du Loire. Yeah. Just over the bridge. Right. And one of the castles is there that we droned. Yeah. And we did some drone shots of it. And they live right underneath it. It was and like live a under, cave. Yeah, their house is underneath it. It's big. It seems like four stories. I'm not sure. Yeah, now it is. Now that Bobby made his, yeah. his music studio. With a really nice backyard. And Beautiful backyard. Um, that's what we do. We're not They're just old friends from a long time. You, you went to school. Guitar school. GIT was Bobby. Yeah. Back in the seventies. No, eighties. Eighties. Yeah, I went there when I was in '79. Yeah. So we were there in the eighties. I was eighteen. I think he was nineteen when we met. Right. Um, we're still friends. <laughs> yeah. Con Bobby, el capitán. Yeah. <laughs> we call him Bobby. Bob, we call him Bobby, but it's, it's yeah. Bob. We organized for some reason a huge boat, boat excursion up the Loire on the traditional boat yeah. um, thingy. <laughs> but it was the original, been around for 200 years. Yeah, it's, like it's, that. It's, it's, and what it does, it goes down the river on the current. Yeah. And then throws up a square sail and waits for up to three months for the <laughs> wind, the wind to come push it back yeah. up river. Keep yeah, so we just floated down the river. It was really nice. Yeah. Yeah. With thirteen people. Thirteen like, people. All friends yeah. of Bobby and yeah, you know, Tracy. a lot of young people. And some millennials and some old, some older ones. Too. Yeah. It was just like two, two, a wide, wide gap between the generations, like the sixties <laughs> and their twenty-five year olds. Yeah, yeah. a couple of thirty-year-olds maybe. And us. It was funny. And Bobby arranged that it was it was catered. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, he had catered and decided to eat on the boat as we're floating. We put out tables and brought out chicken and yeah. cucumbers and squash to, and yeah. all kinds of. Which was uh, easier than the original idea. The yeah, original was idea was to land, land and pull all the table and all the food onto the land on a hot day. A hot, was like there was no shade except for where we hung out. Yeah. <laughs> so it was really nice on the boat. Yeah. And then we did get off and. And on there's an the castle in the background when yeah. we're floating, which is really great. It's like. The castle like in the Chaumont. Chaumont sur Loire. Yeah, yeah, it's the name of the castle. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, or is it a palace? No, the other one's a palace. This one's more of a chateau. Yeah. Whatever the yeah, the one is. I went to today, which I can't remember the name of, I'll put it in the <laughs> in the there. description later, but yeah. I drove out there this morning and it was really cool because it was, there was just tons of people in the parking lots and I found a little space in the parking lot. Fixed it so it didn't, I was pretty inconspicuous with my drone because it's the kind whole, of illegal. The to motto is Patient but sneaky. Yeah, pretty sneaky. You have to be patient I'm and sneaky. I'm learning from Monalia how to be sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a natural sneak. I've been sneaking yeah, all my life. Exactly. So I backed into the thing, opened the thing, and just pretended like I was eating lunch. And I used a little platform, put the drone on it, 
and just, <laughs> just set it up in the air, yeah. far away from the castle, very far, and just flew over, and just filmed, got some great shots of it, mm -hmm. we'll show you. Our goal was Our to get castles. Our minimum goal was yeah. to get a few castles. Yeah. Yeah. French castles, typically. French castles, yeah. Um, which aren't like castles in Spain. Not right? at they're all. Like castles in Spain are just everywhere. And they're just for defense, and they're just very, you know, castle direct, and not where a castle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here they're more like... On mountains. Yeah, here's here, beautiful palaces. And I see one you went to today was in a forest. So. It was right in the middle of a huge forest, and but it had huge gardens inside yeah. this forest. Yeah, it's and like more of a palace. Yeah, imagine a, a sultan palace. living or something. Yeah. Petit Prince Gaunt or something. Yeah. yeah. I think it was Charles the Tenth or something. Charles, we. That's what the road said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which we did yesterday as well. We went to the castle, another sh castle we don't know. We'll put it in the but titles again. Me, yeah, we'll do that later because it's famous and it's on the water. Yeah, it's got, it kind of goes across the Loire. Yeah, and so that one everybody goes to. It's like Disneyland when you approach it. But we found the field. Yeah, yeah. So we went in there and it was yeah. just packed again in lines said, yeah, and it was just yeah. terrible. So we just left and had lunch. We had lunch and then found a little field and let our dogs run around. Yeah, it was in town, way away from the castle. Yeah, and I reminded you, this. we have a five kilometer <laughs> yeah, range with right. this drone. Let's do it. Yeah, so we went into the <laughs> middle of the field and just, and just it. sent it up in the air, flew it over. Yeah. It had trouble connecting a little bit, but... Flew it over, went around the castle, and came back. And it was pretty amazing. And meanwhile, I've, you know, I'm learning how to use the gimbal and the, taking nine con shots. So we've got a whole, you know, multimedia, all different, kinds all of different angles and forms and yeah. points of view. Because we're both, both learning how eyes. to use the Nikon yeah. for video. We have a sli video slider for nature shots. Yeah, and, uh, got to use that now. Yeah, a camera slider, is all I guess. Because mm -hmm. yeah. he's the burgeoning director, I've always <laughs> been worried. Indeed. Like I do good photographs and good quick videos. B roll. Huh? They call it B roll. What's that? That's the secondary shots that you fill out. But yeah, <laughs> a lot of the filler, funny, you know, filler the character yeah. ones or the moments that are peculiar. Yeah. So, so I've been having fun because j'aime pratiquer ma français. It always is a good opportunity when we come to France to sink or swim. Right. And I just speak Spanish or English. Just here, I like being the tourist. <laughs> yeah, I spend so okay. much time hating tourists in Barcelona. <laughs> but you're a polite tourist. That's the difference. Yeah. Respectful. Yeah. People are nice to people like you. You're the one person that wasn't nice, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is up. our funny story. We were going to stay in um, Bordeaux a second oh. night. Oh yeah, we were going to stay. This was instead of the second night. Yeah, in Bordeaux, because we were gonna stay at Lars's house. Yeah, our friend Lars, who has a bit of a medical s stories to be selling this and he really wanted to see me because he's an old old friend from the 80s as well and just to keep me up to date what's going on so we have history with him and so he has some concerning news about his health but it was good to see him but he really insisted that we stay with him sharing a single bed a really short single bed that of his daughter so i diplomatically told him you know we'd spend the one night and then I think he was actually relieved. He just wanted to see us yeah, and tell us and spend what some his, direct time. his situation Especially was. with you, to talk to you directly. Yeah. So while I cooked dinner. While he cooked and stuff. I he had, had a big dinner plan really for salmon. Intense, serious <laughs> conversation. Salmon and stuff, but he kind of didn't defrost the salmon, so I ended up yeah, cooking dinner, which was perfect because it gave them time to just sit and, and have a heavy conversation. Yeah, direct so. questions I can't ask in front of other people yeah. to know what's going up and... It's lucky, I, you know, I see him hanging in there another couple of years. Yeah, hopefully we get him out to Mont Sain. Yeah, house. that's the dream now, is to yeah. get him out there. But, the, so we decided not to stay the second night. No. He was okay with that. Yeah, he And was we happy. got this other place, just found it on Booking.com that same day. Yeah. It was really nice. It was, it was really nice, was I call like it Le Box. Three cabins yeah. on one piece of land. It says land. pet friendly, Yeah. which is what we look for. And and we, we, pulled up and it was just, just the perfect. key was there we didn't have to meet anybody and yeah it was it had two rooms all perfectly everything everything was, it was there. just it was so perfect. so perfectly just for the nice. for the that time that the, we needed it yeah and we started doing filming filming and, and you know, we have you on your 
ground with the <laughs> slider. <laughs> yeah, practicing. We're just doing stuff, you know, just both of us doing stuff. I'm trying out the gimbal and we're really enjoying our that we one night. Dinner, in we made dinner, we made like a gourmet dinner, or, you know, steak dinner. Oh, yeah. A nice breakfast. And so we really used the hell out of the place. <laughs> But which was the problem because this I guess we used it too much. Yeah, we, we cleaned it up like, you know, we like washed we the dishes do. and we're just, did everything. We're just but musicians. We we're just know. musicians and evidently Mark washed his hair and trimmed a little bit of it and so some of it was in the drain, which evidently was clogged, he said, Mark says. Yeah. I don't know because I wasn't there. Yeah. But anyway, the, we never met the guy and he was very angry and at first I was... He called us while we were in the car saying, there's a problem. There's a problem. I was going to share. And you started insulting us. Yeah. Big time. <laughs> and the, so the only way the French can insult you is they just really go for the... They just <laughs> go for the jugular. <laughs> yeah. Because like, I, like, like, oh, I just cleaned this place yesterday. And blah, blah, you know. And we're just like, what? We cleaned it. We washed the dishes. We did everything so, we yeah. could. So, in our point of view we are very innocent and he's just an angry Frenchman really who had to clean the house for just overnight <laughs> visitors who usually right, so just one night so he had to he was convinced that we had done something with our dogs yeah there was, there was blood on the floor or something, or something. I think it was just a strawberry just a strawberry yeah <laughs> <laughs> he was pretty intense but, but we never met him. We never saw him face yeah, to face. Yeah, so and and we would stay there again. We're gonna just under my name. Stay there again. <laughs> we're just booking under my name instead of Mark's. So we show and you being some more of, of aware what it of looked like. It was really nice. It was really nice, and yeah. we'd love to spend a couple days exploring just, that. If you go there, just make sure you clean. <laughs> Take them out of my way. <laughs> <laughs>